So again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 9 by 12 painting, canvas, and a bunch of leftover paint. Ooh, that was out here so long it, it, it like uh, it burped. So I'm just going to give myself a whole bunch of white, obviously, and it looks like there's bubbles in there from shaking it up. And there came a point in time recently where they had no more artist loft, so I'm going to do something I don't usually do. Give that a little bit of a torch. And then I am going to put some black in there because that's my ammo. You know what? It's not just going to be black either. I think it's going to be black enamel. And I've got edge catchers handy, but I'm not sure I can use any of them right now. I've got all kinds of paint that I could probably wash off my shovel in the bucket, or I could just put it down on the canvas. So I'm just going to put it down on the canvas. Not that it won't get lost, because it probably will. But you never know. I've got a funnel around here somewhere. I could do an inversion pour pretty easily. Should I? I think so. Let's do that inversion pour first. That's got every color in it. It's got um, purple sh color shifts from folk art and green gold and minty green from folk art and magenta from golden and all kinds of things. Now I've got a whole other shovel over here that I haven't done anything with yet and I'm thinking I'm going to do this first and I might do that after. and. Here goes nothing sort of thing. Wait. I want to throw a puddle of gold around this. Not that I can, because it doesn't look like there's any pressure coming out of there. Come on. You just you just gave me what I wanted. Oh. I have to clean this tip out if I want that gold to be a puddle there. So I'm going to grab a skewer. very quickly. That does not look like it worked as well as I would like it to. Sometimes you actually have to clean around inside the cone as well as the tip. I kind of feel like by putting the gold puddle down there that I have a better shot at uh, getting what I want. And there's some of my favorite color, just because I can. I'm just lifting that ever so slightly. I'm going to drag it right up there. I'm going to wipe it out with my finger. <laughs> Nothing serious going on here. Get some paint off my hands. See where this takes me. I was going to use the white pearl from Anita's, but I didn't do that. This is a 24 karat gold with some orange in there. And I like it so much, so I have no problem using it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this after it's an aversion pour, then I could still add chain or whatever. But in the meantime, I'm going to put my sponge back, find myself an edge catcher, peel one up from the mass, see what happens. Maybe glasses, C being the key word there. All right, I'm not going to do that until I have to. And I am going to grab my tweezers if I see them because I see something that does not belong. I've got spares. Yeah, whatever it is, I sort of kind of got it. I think it's quite large. It's not coming. <laughs> I thought it was. All right, just the same. So you see how lackadaisical I am about adding my paint. And I don't know what I'm going to get, but I am just willing to continue to f follow through until such a time as I get most of the initial stages done, like the tipping to send paint to most of the edges of the canvas. And I particularly use an edge catcher, and a lot of people do not. I see that thing there. I want my tweezers. They are 
They are here, and they're, they have a nice... <laughs> they have a, I found them. Nice point on them, see? And they're on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is below Show More under the video. Which reminds me, you guys, can you watch the videos longer to try and help me stay on YouTube? Because uh, it's the one... It's the one thing the YouTube algorithm reacts to. Now, I can keep that paint, or I can throw it back in. I'm going to just use some of it right now to cover my edge by rocking. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm not going to try and cover the whole edge, but I am going to try and remember to rock it when it gets to where it's going. So as soon as I have that paint rolling down there, that's my key to just move the edge catcher a little bit away. And I'm going to keep everything on that edge catcher. Boy, I want to scrape that paint off and use it in my canvas, but it's going to be really pretty on the edge catcher, too. I'm loving the white in there. I really, really am. I kind of want some darker orange, but I'm not sure. Wait, it's over here. I've been trying the safety pin method, but I'm still not having any particular luck with keeping my bottles open. Mostly because I'm outside and... whoops. Okay, well that's exactly what I wanted, kind of, sort of. Let's just uh, move along. I'm going to grab a different edge catcher for right now. Let that all go down there. And I don't have to rock it and send it back. I can just send it back and then rock it after because the residuals will work on there just fine. It's a multiple edge catcher piece. And I can see where this is going, so I'm going to tip my canvas according to where I want it to go, which is okay. I still got a couple finger holds. And I'm going to use the paint that's on the edge catcher to cover the edge at the same time as I use the edge catcher to stop paint from escaping. It's nice to have some practice with the edge catcher. I love that color in there. I really like what I'm seeing here. I'm very tempted to scrape some things and use them, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to scrape that one first because I like that one too much. But I am going to take all of this paint right here. I'm going to put it right here. And some great cells are popping down there, so I've got more paint over here. I got paint everywhere. And as you spread paint out that's been poured in puddles, you will find that there are colors hiding in there all the time. That's exciting. I like that. This I'm not so sure about because it should be white because um, I like that negative space. Maybe I'll just bite the bullet and use the paint I've got. I think I'm going to take a little bit of the Anita's White Metallic. Unless that's the Sergeant. I think that's the Sergeant. I put this um, the Sergeant White Pearl on the Amazon link. I wasn't going to use this. But I think I am. Because whatever comes off the edge catcher now will be useful to me. And since that's all heavy paint, I can just send that right down into the whole composition. And if I like what I see, that's great. And if I don't, I'll add some more paint to it. Which is kind of, I, I always say to my friends at least that I channel art, I channel creativity. I don't, I can't possibly take credit for everything that's going on because it's, a lot of times it's like a fluke. I like that color shifting turquoise and what I want to do right now is add some of the Prussian blue 
except for that thing is keeping me from it. I like what's happening and I have not figured out. You know what? I'm, it's time for straw. There we go. Because I can. And I know Prussian blue and turquoise sell together. And if I don't have to tip anymore right now, it would be okay with me because I really like a lot of what I've got here. And if I want something else, I can just grab another spatula full of color. Use my finger to cover my edge. Maybe waggle a few things with a skewer. Make them blend in. I kind of like all that. And the only thing I'm thinking is that I want to draw the eye up here. And try and make that continue down over the side. Yes, once the skewer goes in, it's hard to pull it out, for sure. I was almost regretful of that move, to tell you the truth. I'm going to grab a little bit of black, and I'm going to call this done. So I want to say thank you to you guys for all the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. And uh, if you want to continue to help support the studio and have me bring videos, Finding the end screens and the exhibition video that are on, that's on the end screens and seeing the prizes will help you decide if you want to do that. It's a $10 donation and I will send you a receipt of that as soon as I see PayPal or Patreon has uh, notified me of that. You can find PayPal or Patreon. That's a bug. Get out of there. Out. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to torch to release the bubbles in the paint. Anyway, PayPal or Patreon. Links under the video. Icons on my YouTube channel header. Please share my videos if you're of a mind to. I would appreciate you giving me a like. Thank you so much for the great comments and all the contributions that I kept you painting in the past. Look under the video for the Amazon link where you can shop at No Added Cost for you and find things like the awesome OXO omelet turning spatula my paint pouring recipe, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. So glad I got to use up most of my paint. I still got a shovel full over there, but I'm thinking I might just put it in the middle of an 8x10 inch canvas, which was originally my plan until I realized how much paint I actually had left. So I think I mentioned, but I'm not sure, I torched to release the bubbles caught in the paint so you don't get craters when they pop and dry after you're done with your work. I want something else in there, but I'm not sure what it is, and it wants to be right here. So let's just do that. I'm pretty sure you're, you're going to be gone. And I can't stick any more tools in there, but I can use my straw. to disturb things, commonly referred to in my, in my books called Because I Can and uh, also Unlimited Possibilities as agitation. So that's cool. I like that. The eye jumps back and forth between all the dark areas. If you guys have questions, please feel free to ask me. I will do my best to answer you. And uh, use my email address under the video if you have an interest in a painting. Uh, most paintings are for sale, and the most supportive thing anybody can do to help the studio is to buy a painting. Uh, or binge watch. Mostly buy a painting. But binge watch doesn't hurt. If you binge watch, I love you more. <laughs> Not than if you buy a painting, though. Because that, I'll love you forever if you buy a painting. I, uh, I do have some art collectors. It seems like most of them are on the west coast of the United States. I will be taking a picture of this in a moment, but in the meantime, I should check and tell you guys if you uh, are looking for tomorrow's video, look on the end, excuse me, look on my channel on the community board or look on my Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students or um, 
yeah, that's it. That's it. Sometimes I post on my regular Priscilla Batsell page too, but otherwise. So I don't give lessons currently, but I will give lessons when this trauma traumatizing time is over. Check your notifications, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Look for 1,310 videos organized by the hundreds and by genres on my channel. Uh, playlists. Look for creative playlists. Teespring, under the video, has Oliver Print leggings and Oliver Print t-shirts, and when you shop there, you help me out, just as if you were going to Facebook to Expression to Start Studio Gallery Totes and more, finding the FineArtAmericaPixels.com Shop Now button and seeing what I've been doing there since 2013. I adore you guys. Hang in there. Thank you for being so supportive. I love this. It's got all kinds of cells from using that black enamel, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. I hope you binge watch, and I'll see you anon. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard still. Still hoping to get into the house one of these days soon. Bye! I love you!